Okay, this is very quick tip tutorial about how to make cloths very very quickly inside of Marvelous Designer as well as ZBrush. So the first thing first, I go to the display and there is window. You need to click on this in a modular configurator. So click on it. It brings this menu for you. So there are templates ready for you. So you can choose between either woman or man. So click on it. You can grab, let's say, jackets. There are, you know, so many nice ones in there. They are very, very good. And you can use them. So let's say we want to use the jacket. So I click on this single and it brings another option for you. So you can start with the front. I click on this. I choose, you know, between, you know, um, one of them. And this is the front, and you can choose uh, for the back as well. And just click on this, and that's it. And I click on the uh, sleeves. You can choose between uh, each one of them. And for the sleeves, I always do this trick. First, I make it really, really short. Then I do that. Adjust. So do them. Firstly, in short, you know, scale like so. So you can do quickly uh, adjust them. So you can uh, do very, very quick classes like that. And if you want to do a t-shirt, you can go to the uh, polos or shirts. I go to the polos. And I grab this dropped one. So grab this color and I grab this and I'll just click on the simulation click on this and for the sleeves I grab this longer one again grab it make it short rotate that like so make it shorter and that's it and you did very it's not very complicated but it's complicated for sure in only seconds now I grab them all like so go to the exports OBJ selected and before doing anything you can you know give it in you know, a small simulation amount and let's say five I click on the simulation Nice five, right? You can adjust that to whatever shape you like. I don't go to the details for now. And now I select them all together. Go to the file, export OBJ selected. Click on the destination that I want to export that out. I use always thin, volt. It's going to be thin, volt. And these are the options that I always use and I just click on the OK now I jump back to ZBrush okay here we are in ZBrush so I quickly go to the soft tool master I use the multi append and the reason for using that multi append is it doesn't change a scale at all I always use this rather than just importing you know importing normal importing messes up video scale from time to time and I really hate that so I grab this I go to the solo I make sure I got the double turned on I go to display properties turn on the double so what I'm gonna do is I forgot to correct it but it really doesn't matter I just you know the quick tip tutorial so make sure I get rid of the uh, bottom center do split hidden okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and use the keep groups keep it zero uh, right now we got the 47k so we could use same and ad adaptive to keep the same thing in here 
it takes a little while to calculate okay so this is it now I can come back and just reduce that a little right now we got you know 80k which is a lot just drop it down something like this and again takes a little while no it's not my fault it's ZBrush it's thinking <laughs> yeah go boy just pause the video so that's it now I can come back to this main shape I can hold on control click on this in a box in here becomes white now I can come back in here can divide this couple of times maybe this I can store some morph targets if you don't want to have this effect there are some plugins for this to keep this you know not divided and you know keep it you know straight and nice on the edges or you could use the uh, crease I go to the crease I just crease to keep the edges and now I divide this you know a couple of times to keep the edges and again there are some plugins to keep the edges for you in there or you can uh, turn off the smooth and divide your mesh so once you did that because we stored from here using the control key control and click I come back in here go to the projection project and now I can use the project history right in here uh, because of this there are really nice options we no longer use the duplicate you can duplicate if you want to but we can do that with only one soft tool so it projects you know the details from here to here and that's it and again there are some tips that I want to mention in here uh, if you want me to make some complicated for you I can do that uh, if you want that please uh, give me some comments so I can do that for you but again uh, in marvelous designer whenever you want to export your mesh make sure you get rid of some complications in your mesh this one isn't you know uh, complicated but from time to time it happens uh, because of the sum a stitching point in your mesh in marvelous designer it happens it becomes uh, fairly complicated for the zbrush to calculate if you want to do use the zero mesh so make sure before doing the exports you get rid of some complications you know and unnecessary points let's say you can get rid of those buttons if you don't want to or you know uh, again some complex shapes uh, and and not very good sewing points then you can export that out i try to make another tutorial about this issue to how to handle the difficulties that comes out from the marvelous designer later but for now uh, that's it and thanks a lot